one of my all-time... Well, I shouldn't say one of my all-time favorite games. That's, <laughs> that's pushing it. But ARMS is a game that I've talked about time and time again on the channel, whether it's during a live stream or whatever it may be. Early on in the channel's history, I mean, I was doing videos on the characters being added to ARMS. ARMS is just such a... It's like an interesting game. They like say it's weird. Like, I'm not going to categorize it as one of my all-time favorite games, but I remember when the Switch was coming out, I, I saw this game and it just looked really neat. And when it came out, it was just fun. And this game had really neat, like, side modes that went online. There was also, like, this competition thing that would happen where it was, like, one character versus another and you could pick your team and try to get points for that team. This had a ton of stuff that I thought was fun, but there there were some areas where it was lacking and it, there was no doubt that, you know, when, when Smash Ultimate came out, I mean, it was obvious ARMS was going to take a huge hit. And unfortunately, it took a hit where it just, I mean, I think it's essentially dead. I mean... I'm going to try and see if I can get a ranked match in, and if not, I'll go to party match. <laughs> and at the very least, maybe I'll do a versus against the CPU, but... This game, to me, was so cool, and it was really neat because the developer, like, one of the, one of the main developers of the game, really cared about it, and was listening to feedback. I mean, people were giving feedback on certain things they wanted changed and they were changing them. So it was really neat to see. But unfortunately, it lacked... Unfortunately, it lacked in the single player department, which, you know, I, I do defend at times when it comes to fighting games because I, I don't know how much you can really add to a fighting game. I know, like, Smash Bros. Melee had stuff in it and, like, Smash Bros. in general always has stuff in it, but I feel like... Melee and Brawl was where it, like, really peaked. But, you know, I don't expect too much from single player, but... Fighting games in general, I feel like, just have to try to find that balance of, like, okay, like, we gotta give them something to, to play for. And I feel like with ARMS, it kind of ended up mainly being ranked. I mean, they also added badges, which I thought was super cool, but unfortunately, it's all... you don't know how to unlock them. They're, they're just random. So that's unfortunate because I'd like to be able to just look at a big achievement list and just try to, you know, get get them all. Which, you know, I could just go online and find them, but it, it should be in the game. It should just show you what they are. Uh, it's not looking like we're going to get a ranked match, so I'll, I'll try party match. Party match is usually more of a chance. Yeah, see, look at that right away. Let's see if I remember my alternate costume. Yep, I do. Hold down on the control stick, and then, like, you push in on the control stick, and then hold down. So, at least there are still people playing. That's very good to see. It's, very, it's really cool to see, but it's unfortunate that I can't do ranked. I would like to be able to do ranked. But yeah, this, this game had a bunch of random side modes that I thought were really cool, and it was neat that you could play them all online, because that's my biggest gripe with Smash, is that Smash has neat side modes, but you can't play them online. So I always thought it was cool that this game allowed you to do that, and as the game went on, they were adding stuff to single player, they were adding stuff to online, they were adding, they added the pins. Because I believe when the game came out, it didn't have pins at all. So, I don't know, I this game to me was just, it, it was neat because to me, it felt very Nintendo. It added a Nintendo spin to fighting games, and the character design I thought was really, really cool. This game overall, I just, I don't know, I just, I thought it was really neat, and it, it was exciting when the Switch was coming out to see such a unique game coming out. Because that's, I mean, that's why I like Nintendo. I like Nintendo because I, I like, uh, when they add their own spin to stuff, I like the uniqueness. Future Marson here. Uh, I did not realize that I was blocking the health meter, so unfortunately, you can't see it, but I wanted to just fill you guys in, because I saw it after the fact, so I... I can't do anything about it. Hopefully you still enjoy this though. So I'm not gonna claim that I'm like the best arms player. How the heck did they already have that?
But yeah, I was always rooting for this game. I just thought it was really fun. And like I said, unique. Now, I'd be lying, though, if I said I never got mad at it. I used to get decently mad at it because it's funny. Ego Raptor from Game Grumps complained about the same thing I did because he, he really liked this game. But he would get annoyed. It was funny because he almost said it like word for word. Like, I remember showing my friend and he was like, dude, I swear you said that exact same thing. And I, I actually think I did. Where he was annoyed because he was like, I love arms, but like, I don't know what I'm doing wrong and I, I don't know how to get better at it. And that's how I felt. It'd be like, there'd be matches where I would do, like, really well, but then sometimes I'd be losing, and I wouldn't really know, like, why I was losing. And I, I felt like I couldn't really get better. And I feel like grabs were also very strong. If I get hit by that, it's over. Ah, I lost. Dang. Well, at least it was close. I just wanted to do a random video on this game. Just to... I know I repeated myself a lot by saying it's cool, it was fun, but... This game... And I also said it was unique, which is what I was about to say, but... This game really was just very unique, and... It's just such a shame like, how this game inevitably died off. Like, sure. I... You know, I was able to find a match. But you try to find a ranked match, you're, you're, you're more likely just... You're more, you're more or less going to just not find a match. And overall, I mean, there's just not many people playing this game, and it sucks because I feel like... If they were to make a sequel to ARMS, which everyone joked about, oh, it'd be legs. If they were to make an ARMS 2, which I wish they would, it just sucks because it would have to just, like, come out before Smash, and inevitably when Smash comes out, it would just die off. And it just sucks. I, I wish that ARMS was able to, like, create their own game to where it, it has enough of its own thing that people wouldn't just go straight to Smash. Like, I mean, I'm guilty of it. I, of course I jumped onto the Smash hype train, but ARMS is very different than Smash. So I just wish that it was able to create its own path enough that it could survive even when Smash came out. And I feel like the way that ARMS is now, if they just did this again, I, I don't think it would be enough. They would have to do something that would keep the interest high enough that even when Smash comes out, people are still playing this. And I kind of hope, in general, uh, you know, next go around on the next console, more games stay alive longer. Because, like, you know, I know that games are eventually going to die off, but I feel like there's a good amount where... I, I shouldn't say good amount, but, like, Mario Tennis Aces is another game where I feel like the online was great, the leaderboards were great, how it was set up. Everything was just so, like well done in terms of the online play but you try to play it now it's it's pretty difficult to get into the ranked mode you're you're more or less just going to play the same people and even then eventually it just kind of gets to a point where i think you're just kind of stuck looking for a match but yeah i don't know now i'm just going off of memory with that one but i know the online is is has dwindled a lot and like even with this i mean i couldn't find a ranked match so I don't know. I hope in the future these games kind of cement themselves a little bit more. Like I said, I mean, in general, over time, some of these games aren't going to just, you know, keep being around. They're eventually going to just die off. But this game just, it was just so, like, what felt like night and day, where it was like, this game had its own community, it was great, and then Smash came out and it was gone. I know it still had, like, its diehard community, and I'm sure it still does have a diehard community, but... ARMS, I just feel like, had so much potential and could have just been so much more. And it, if I were to have to give answers as to what it needs to do to be more, honestly, I couldn't give them. So hopefully, if they do make a sequel, the developers can really figure out a way to really cement this game as its own thing where... Like I said, it's very different from Smash, but Smash, I feel, is what killed it. I feel like when Smash came out, this game just had no chance of staying around. And I will say, I do feel like they dropped the ball when they added 
uh, Min Min to Smash, I really feel like they should have, like, made arms significantly cheaper. I don't think they had any sale at all. And to keep charging 60 for a game that people clearly had lost interest in, I just think, was not worth it for them. I think they should have had a huge sale. Heck, even done some sort of crazy cross-promotion even, maybe. Where it's like, if you buy Min Min in Smash, like, you could, like, get arms for free. I mean, I don't know if they'd ever go that far, but it would have been nice to have arms have a second life. It, it just really sucks that a game this unique and cool, to me anyway, uh, it just sucks that it died. But, yeah, that that's just me gushing over arms. I love, I, I really did love this game. And the only other person I know that, like, really roots for this game is Kony. Uh, but yeah, I don't know. I, it's just a shame. Like I said, it's inevitable that games die off, but this one getting hit as hard as it did when Smash came out, it just kind of sucked. But either way, that's it for this video. Let me know if you loved ARMS when it came out or if, you st if you're still trying to play it. Uh, let me know. Also, one other thing I do want to point out, I say this all the time uh, when I randomly talk about ARMS, but I still will get people that don't know this, and like I still feel like this was a huge hit to the game, was you don't need to use motion controls. And I feel like if that was more advertised, I think a lot more people would have tried it. I think Nintendo still pushes motion way too hard. I think a lot of people are kind of over that. I mean, sure, have the option, sure. And they could have showed that in the commercial. I was waiting for a commercial, which maybe they had one, but I remember complaining about it in the past because they really should have had a commercial that was showing someone using motion and literally someone being like, 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 waving their hands like I don't want to do that and they sit down on the couch and maybe they switch over to a pro controller like they were using motion and then they just like poof I'm tired switch to pro controller I think it would have been very good for them to show that because a lot of people didn't know that you didn't have to use motion and I feel like that affected the game in terms of sales because I think I think a whole wave of people were done with motion after the Wii they just don't want to do it anymore I'm someone that I prefer using traditional controls. I think it's neat when they have motion and, you know, sometimes I'll try it. Like I did try it with arms and with arms, you do have more nuance with motion, but I have more fun playing with the pro controller. So I like that this game actually gave that option. That's actually kudos to this game. But in terms of advertising, they should have really showcased that you did not have to use motion. I do think that affected the game to what level I don't know, but I do think it affected it. But either way, that's all I have to say for this video. Hopefully you enjoyed it. And yeah, hopefully ARMS has a future, but that's it for this video. So take care, everyone.